My Lord's private notice question on Ukraine. Visa restrictions for refugees. Lord Hunt of King's Heath. My Lords, I beg leave to ask a question which I have given private notice. The question is as follows. To ask Her Majesty's Government whether they will remove all visa restrictions for refugees coming from Ukraine. Uh, my Lords, <coughs> first, I'm sure that the thoughts and prayers of Your Lordship's House are with those, all those in Ukraine, and this Government stands with Ukraine. <laughs> However, a visa waiver is not the solution to the challenges faced by Ukrainians. Visas are an important security tool. <clears throat> In addition, there are now no direct travel routes from the Ukraine to the UK. The safest route for people to leave Ukraine is via neighbouring countries to the west. We have made changes to the immigration system to support British nationals and their families in Ukraine and Ukrainians in the UK. My right honourable friend, the Home Secretary, has announced additional support measures today. I must say, my lords, I think that's a very disappointing response yeah. to the critical position that is faced by so many people uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, my lords, and last week the Prime Minister said this country would do what it always has done and receive those who are in fear of persecution. But so far, my lords, all it has done is to allow immediate family members or fruit pickers to apply for visas. My lords, so far it has been a shameful response. My Lords, the Refugee Council speaking, I believe, for the British people in their plea for the government to immediately establish safe routes and working with the EU and others, will the government take in those refugees without having to apply for asylum? My Lords, um, I think it might be helpful if I um, refer to some of the things that the Home, my right hon. Friend, the Home Secretary, um, announced earlier today. Um, Ukrainian nationals on an existing points-based system route can extend their leave in the UK. Ukrainian nationals on an existing visitor visa can exceptionally switch into a points-based system immigration route without having to leave the UK. Ukrainian nationals on an existing visitor visa can apply under the family route for further leave without meeting the immigration status requirement, provided they meet the requirements for leave based on exceptional circumstances. And Ukrainian nationals on an existing seasonal worker visa will have their leave in the UK extended to the 31st of December 2022. Um, the Noble Lord also referred to some of the, the measures that have been taken with regards to families. And I should also say, and I apologise for the long answer, but we have surged staff to visa application centres in neighbouring Western countries. My Lord, my Lord, how is it that our government keeps on talking about unwavering support for Ukraine and how is it possible that we proud ourselves for doing more than any other European country? We are doing less to accept those people who are in crisis. Can my Lord, my noble Lord, do something to help them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thank my noble friend for that question. And I, I, I think it's important to restate that this government has done a hell of a lot um, in order to support Ukraine. Objectively, it has. Um, and I also think it's important to emphasise, as I've already said, that visas are an important security tool. Um, there are, unfortunately, a small number of people who, due to their connection to Russian intelligence services, for example, may represent a threat to UK national security. Security checks related to the visa application process assist in addressing this threat. And I, of course, accept there's a humanitarian crisis, but the appropriate route is via the um, visa application centres in neighbouring countries. My lords, my lords, my lords, my lords. The noble, the noble Baroness, Baroness Williams said at the dispatch box to the first question, it's about playing our part. Telling people fleeing Putin's bombs to apply for a fruit picker's visa is not playing our part. So what has stopped the UK government acting with the same speed and compassion as the 27 EU countries in granting Ukrainians fleeing war asylum for three years and not having to apply for a visa? Well, my Lords, I don't think it's fair to talk about fruit pickers' visas, um, but I also... Um, I would also point out, as I have um, um, just said, that there are no direct travel routes from the Ukraine to the UK at the moment. The safest route for people to leave the Ukraine is via neighbouring countries to the west. Um, we have, as I say, surge staff to visa application centres, um, dependents of British nationals resident in the Ukraine who need a UK visa can apply through new temporary locations in Lviv or through a visa application centre in nearby countries including Poland, 
Moldova and uh, Romania and Hungary. And we are setting up a new pop-up um, visa application centre in Rejau in Poland next week. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. That we should be kind to strangers. And uh, would the noble Lord, the Minister, agree that um, the policy of the government in that respect is not in accord with Christian teachings? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I agree that we should be kind to strangers, and I'm afraid I don't agree that the government's policy is not in accord with Christian teachings. My Lord. I fully agree that whilst we may be a world leader in supply and defensive armaments for the people of Ukraine, and no doubt we are a world leader in supply and defensive forces to train the defensive forces of Ukraine, he must also agree that we are now not a world leader in looking after the people of Ukraine. We must allow those people to come here without the bureaucracy that the visa system would add. These are genuine people fleeing what is only to be described as terror in their own country. These are not economic migrants or spies or traitors. These are people that are relatives of the people already living in this country, and we should make sure they can get here quickly and uninterrupted. Well, I thank my noble friend for that question. I have to go back to what I said earlier, I'm afraid. Um, that we do believe that visas are an important security tool. Um, however, um, there are safe and legal routes for people to apply for visas. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Lord the Minister, remember that the reason why we have a refugee convention in the first place is because we have been here before with ships of Jewish refugees not being allowed to stop at any safe port. The, the noble Lord the Minister has said now at least twice that people should go west and claim in the first safe country. Yeah. The government repeatedly tells us that that is where they should claim asylum and that is where they should stay. So how does that involve us doing our part? Yeah. Well, I would say to the, the noble lady, of course I, I understand um, the ship's point, but there are no direct travel routes from the Ukraine to this country at the moment. The safest route for people um, to leave the Ukraine is via our neighbouring countries to the west. My lords, my lords, might I suggest to the noble lord, the minister, it's not very difficult to get from Poland or Slovakia to England. And why can't the government, if it insists on using visas, set up an entirely separate system wherever anybody is trying to get to this country so that they can be, in fact, fast-tracked and not go through the main system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how difficult it is at the moment to get from Poland to this country, but uh, I take the noble lady's point. Um, <laughs> but I would say, and as I've already said, um, I'm afraid uh, the safest route is to apply via the visa application centres. My Lords. I have every sympathy for the Minister trying to defend the indefensible. He has to do that. That's his job. However, M Minister... What are we going to say to Poland and Moldova and all the other neighbouring countries about how we will take our share of those who will arrive in the first instance into their country but who they cannot support entirely on their own because they will need the support of other countries to the West, including ourselves? Yeah. Well, can I thank the Right Reverend Prelate for his sympathy? Um, but can I also say, I don't know, unfortunately, what uh, conversations will be had with those neighbouring countries, but they must, by definition, be ongoing. I think most people in this country will be baffled by the response of the Minister and upset by the fact that the Government hasn't got a grip of this refugee crisis that faces Europe. We've been proud of the way our Government has acted to support Ukraine. We've got hundreds of thousands of people fleeing across the border and the Minister simply turns around and says there's no safe route for them to get here. It's not good enough. Families need to have a, a, a reunification programme and we should set an example to the rest of the Europe as the way we have done with the rest of the Ukraine. It's not good enough. The Government needs to get a grip and give us something to be proud of. Well, I thank the Noble Lord for that. Um, and I would say on the family side, we are uh, allowing Ukrainian family members to settle persons or British nationals to come, to come to or remain in the UK where they would otherwise not meet the core requirements of the family rules. We will make applications under the family rules fee-free for this cohort. 
This will mean applicants will be exempt from the immigration health surcharge as well as visa fees. There will be a pathway to settlement if they are unable to return to Ukraine when their leave expires. And department officials will be reaching out to the Ukrainian diaspora in the UK seeking their support to house and support Ukrainian family arrivals. And this is one of the most generous family reunion offers that we've ever made to any country in the world, demonstrating our firm commitment to the people of Ukraine. My lords, my lords, my lords, my lords. The noble lord, the minister, says that visas are an important security tool. Can the minister confirm, if I was a Ukrainian settled in the UK and I had elderly parents, say in their 90s, in Ukraine right now, they would have to apply for a visa to come to the UK in the normal way? Yes or no? It's not a simple um, yes or no question, as, as the noble lord knows. I mean, there are safe and legal routes, as I've tried to explain, um, via the visa application centres and by the, via the family reunion rules that have been announced. And carefully to the minister's answers, but last night, the prime minister joined a mass at a Ukrainian church in London and said thousands of refugees would benefit from the suspension of normal visa rules in light of the humanitarian crisis developing in Ukraine. How does that square with the answers he's given this afternoon? Um, I answered um, partially that question earlier when I was talking about the, the uh, announcements that my right honourable friend, the Home Secretary, had made. Um, I won't run through those again, but I think it does square with them, but I appreciate um, the points that the Noble Lord was making. The First Minister of Wales has said that Wales should be a country of sanctuary. What discussion is the government having with Wales to allow Welsh people who can vouch for somebody coming mm -hmm. from the Ukraine to come in, particularly when those families in Wales are prepared to provide financial support for travelling and so on? I'm afraid I don't know what conversations have been had with the devolved administrations, but I would imagine they're ongoing in the normal way. My Lords, will the Noble Lord remind the House of the figures that were given to your Lordships during consideration on the Nationality and Borders Bill about the number of people who are currently in our system and whose asylum and claims have not yet been settled and how long it normally takes for a visa to be processed and expedited through our system? I'm afraid I don't have those statistics to hand. I'll have to write to the Noble Lord. My Lords, following on from the Noble Lord Lord Paddock's question about uh, Ukrainians who were settled here with elderly parents, I think there's a lot of lack of clarity of this. There seems to be some provision if those parents are needing care, but of course a technical provision of needing care under some kind of medical provision is different from a confused older person who is extremely unsafe and just needs their family. Will those people in that situation be allowed to come to the UK and stay in the UK? And will those people be able to go and pick them up from wherever they are in Europe and bring them here safely? Um, I thank the noble Baroness for that question. I can only refer back to the answer I gave earlier on um, family concessions, um, and my understanding from that is, is that those things will be dealt with under those rules. My lords, my lords, the noble Lord, the Minister, will have noted the general dissatisfaction of the House with the answers he has given to all the questions. Some questions he didn't know the answer to, others he has given very sparse answers. Will the Noble Lord undertake to the House to report back to his colleagues and maybe try to come back next week and give us more satisfactory responses to the wide range of discomfort and dissatisfaction there has been with his answers today? I'd like to reassure the Noble Baroness I will most certainly be doing that. My Lords, could the Noble Lord the Minister explain what the Government's stance is in, is in preparing accommodation for those that we will eventually allow come, to come from Ukraine after the rather unsatisfactory approach to accommodation for those who have come from Afghanistan? I can't answer that at this stage. As I've said, we will be um, reaching out to the U members of the Ukrainian diaspora um, to uh, seek their help and support with this, um, but beyond that, I'm afraid I cannot go. One of, the, one of the answers that the Minister said that he couldn't answer before was how many... The firm <coughs> that uh, under the provisions of the Nationality and Borders Bill before us this afternoon and this week, the Government will not seek to arrest and prosecute Ukrainian refugees who may happen to be arriving on boats from northern France. <laughs> Um, the noble lady asked me to stray into territory we will be visiting later, and I'm afraid I can't do that. 
Minister struggled with before was confirming that it's relatively easy to get from Poland to the United Kingdom at the moment. There are over 670 flights a week from Poland <laughs> to the UK. A simple check on Sky can, I can confer that. Will the Minister please confirm one thing? That Ukrainian people fleeing, even to, to join, as my noble friend said, their family, will not be charged £95 and they will not have to wait in a long process. Can he please confirm that there will be expedited process and it will not cost a penny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the noble lord has obviously had better access to Google in the last few minutes than I have, so um, I apologise for being unable to answer the flights question earlier because I didn't know the answer. But I have said that um, under the family reunion rules, um, that will be fee-free for this cohort.